Time for lunch break, and guess who's doing it? This is a first for me. Today we're cooking shrimp creole with uh, Chef Anne Couillette. Welcome. Correct. Thank Straight you. out of New Orleans. Yes, I'm not absolutely. Even gonna, I'm not even going to try to spell Kuya. I, I know, know I, I know. But, you know, we, we got to remember, what do people know most about New Orleans? It's the culture, it's the music, and, of course, the food. And, and, and Okay, the way, and the beverages. I'll admit the beverages. That's, oh, I've had a few of those beverages. A couple of them. Right. Sure. And, 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 and listen, before we get to the food, uh, an interesting little factoid, you are related to the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Yes, I am. I'm guilty. Yes, I am. Marie I'm Laveau. To Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. I am related to the voodoo queen of New Orleans. So we're ready to make some You got some an creole. old family recipe for yes. shrimp creole has been passed down through the generations. Right? Uh, that's exactly right, you yes. Know, but, you know, like I said, I've eaten shrimp creole all my life. I don't know what goes in it other than shrimp. Well, it's a very traditional New Orleans dish. Um, lots mm -hmm. of the restaurants serve them. A lot of family recipes. This happens to be my family recipe. So we're going to start with a little bit of... Okay. Vegetable oil, so why don't you put okay. that in? You tell me when I'm... Uh, Just pour it all in. Hold the whole amount. Pour the whole thing in. Okay. Pour it all in. Okay. And then you're going to take your onions, pour the... all. Oh, just pour it all in. Or onions. 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 Is that what... Pour the onions in, all, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And green peppers, pour that oh, in. Yeah. Celery, pour that in, too. And you're going to make a cook out of it. Yes, yet. okay. And then garlic. you got to have garlic. You can't have New Orleans Which food. Which is the garlic, This right? is the garlic, mm -hmm. right okay. here. So pour that in. Okay. Uh, stop laughing over there. Okay, I heard gotta have chuckle. garlic. Okay. I know what garlic looks so we're gonna like. stir okay. this up. You wanna stir mm -hmm. that up? Sure. Okay, stir that up. You're doing good. You're mm -hmm. doing good. The garlic smelling good. So you're gonna cook this too. for about mm -hmm. five minutes, you know, until the the mixture is kind of soft. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna turn around here. Then okay, we're gonna put me. then we're gonna put a little flour in there. You gotta have you gotta make a little roux out of that. So you see how the flour absorbs all the a little oils? Bit of roux. roux. How do you spell roux? Roux R R O U X. Is there X roux. in there? Yes, okay. X. So stir that in and it's getting all absorbed in the flour. Don't want to burn the flour because you burn the roof, okay. you burn the flour. So you got that. Okay, and then we're going to pour in tomato sauce. This is about four got cups to of tomato sauce. So we're going to pour that in. Smelling good, Ann. Yeah, okay, good stir that here. in. Mm -hmm. All right, stir that in. Okay, doing good. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to have, then we have a couple of bay leaves here. We're going to put that in. Got to have Creole seasoning if you're going to make New Orleans food. So we mm -hmm. got about two tablespoons Any of Creole seasoning. Any particular brand you like? Uh, Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Mm -hmm. You got to have Tony Sachery's. got a little bit of that in my kitchen at all. Got a little black pepper mm -hmm. and a little bit of thyme. So you're going to stir that. And then this is a little stock. You could use, I usually take the shells from the the shrimp and boil it for stock, so put that in. I did not know that. You boil yes. the shrimp shell. Yes, and you just drain it and you have a little bit of stock. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to cover this and you're going to cook this for about 30 minutes, mm -hmm. right, until everything is cooked in together. And then after that, we're going to accelerate this. And then I have here two pounds of peeled and devein uh, shrimp mm -hmm. and a little bit of salt and pepper, so put that in. It's got to be those Louisiana shrimp, too. Nothing. Gulf shrimp. Gulf shrimp, not Absolutely. those in Imported kind, right? No, mm. this is the best shrimp, Gulf shrimp. And there are Excellent. a lot of places you can get it uh, shipped up from New Orleans, so we're going to put that in. And by the way, y'all didn't ever call these mud bugs, did you? Uh, that would be crawfish, uh, would be right, mud well, bugs. All the same family, though, right? Uh, kind of the same family, so get that, stir okay, that in, right. make sure it's all oh. incorporated. Mm -hmm. Right, all incorporated. Okay, so then you're going to cover this, and then you're going to cook it for mm -hmm. another 20 minutes. And then it's gonna look like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna serve it over white rice. So we're gonna plate you up some shrimp creole here. Okay. Over white rice. And Kuyet, this looks wonderful. Thank you so much for coming shrimp in. Creole. I can't wait. Garnish it. Find me a fork. There and you I'm, go. I'm good to go. You can All always right. review uh, today's recipe on our midday website. And Kuya, thank you so much for thank coming in. Thank you very sharing, much. I appreciate your Creole it. recipe. Yes, I hope you enjoy. Thank, thank you very you. much. My pleasure.